Aloha guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this look right here using um, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill products. So this essentially is going to be a tutorial about uh, Morphe times Jaclyn Hill. Um, so if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. All right, you guys, so let's get started with this Morphe Jaclyn Hill tutorial using the stuff that I bought at Ulta. Um, so we're going to start off with the, um, the Angel Veil Primer, this here, and uh, see how this works. I thought I took the packaging off everything. Wait. I'm going to put it right here where my pores are. It actually feels really good. Nice and smooth. It feels thicker than the Hourglass Primer. So, yeah, I'm just going to put it in the T zone. Okay, up next, I already have this Morphe uh, sponge. It's all ready. Um, I don't know if you guys follow Jaclyn Hill, but her go-to foundation is born this way right now. And mine is like completely empty. So we're just gonna see what we have and use what we have left. And then if I need to mix another foundation, I will but I thought it'd be fun to use as many uh, Jaclyn Hill favorites as possible since it's mostly going to be a tutorial about her products. So let's bounce this into the skin. So the sponge feels um, like not definitely not as soft as the beauty blender um, but it's very bouncy so um, I don't know I, I actually like this the softness and the bounciness of the beauty blender but let's see concealer and we're going to use the um, the sponge again to blend that in just so we can get a good idea of how this really works I know the beauty blender works really great for um, putting your concealer on I feel like I have to work harder with this, honestly. So, um, I'm going to say so far it's not my favorite. Um, let's put on some eye primer. And this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. So, we're just going to buff that in okay so all right I'm not impressed guys anyways okay so should we get start now let's do my brows real quick I'll do my brows and then I'll be right back all right guys, brows are on. So let's get started with the tutorial. So I'm gonna be using the um, Armed and Gorgeous. I know um, in the haul I said Armed and Dangerous, but it is Armed and Gorgeous. So, and then we're also gonna be using her brushes. Um, I have not used them yet. 
So we're gonna lay down um, a lid color. So, all right, you guys. So we're gonna start off with her Morphe JH3. It looks like a 3-2 and it looks like a blender. And we're gonna start off with the color Access right here. So let's see what that looks like. I probably should have just swatched them. But um, oh, it's very yellow. Okay, I already got a um, piece of the brush on my eyelid, so a bristle, um, and this yellow is very light, um, not a ton of pigment, so I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, um, but yeah. Um, Let's put, use this color right here, down here. It's called Classified. And I'm gonna use the brush JH, gosh, so hard to see. I think it's 3-3. So it's like a flat shader brush. So it's hard to pick up these colors. Okay, you gotta get in there real good. So. I am gonna put this down right here in the middle. We can spread it out a little bit, but I'm gonna put two colors, or one color on the sides. So, I'm just gonna spread that like this. Don't worry about it being perfect. It's a pretty color, very pretty. It's like a pukey green. I like it, ooh. Getting a little fallout. Okay, so that was classified. Now we're going to put, um, we're gonna use this other flat brush here. Um, it's JH. I think it's four seven, but I'll I'll leave the numbers of the brushes down below. And so I'm gonna use this green right here. It's called Top Secret. So I am going to use that on the sides. So like right here. Ooh, that is green. And then we're gonna put some over here. In the inner corner. Um, let's get our first brush. Blend some of that out. We don't want to lose any of that yellow. I'm going to take her blender brush because it has nothing on it and I'm just going to blend this out. Okay, so I'm going to put um, some of that yellow, the access, we're going to put it underneath the lash line and one thing I like is she has brushes for everything so we're going to use this brush right here and it's so tiny it's JH39 the 39 brush so we're going to use some of that yellow and we're going to smudge it underneath the lash line
Okay, and then we're gonna take a flat shader brush and we are going to put the green, the top secret, we're gonna put that underneath there as well. I think I'm going to put some of this guilt trip. I'm going to put it right here in the inner corner. And I'm going to use another brush. I love these little tiny brushes. Um, so it's JH, it looks like 42. So um, guilt trip. And put it right in here. some VIP up at the top. VIP is very white. All right, let's curl these lashes. I'm using my Sephora eyelash curler. I think I'm going to put some, uh, this is a prestige eyeliner um, in the color, what color is it? Marble, but it's like a, like an army green. So I'm gonna put that in the waterline. And then I am going to, I bought this new NYX uh, dark brown, I think it's dark brown. Yeah, dark brown eye pencil. I'm gonna put that on the top of my waterline. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. Then I'm going to use my Lash Warrior in black. You guys have not tried the Lash Warrior by Flower Beauty. You're missing out. And if you have tried it, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. All right, um, I, didn't, I just realized I didn't set my T-zone. I'm gonna use the Becca, um, it is set it, set and refresh, that's what it is. We are going to use highlighter and I'm going to be using my Becca highlighter. Um, I did have champagne pop. I don't have champagne pop anymore, um, but we're going to use opal and opal is such a pretty color. Yes, girl. Yes. Yes. 
All right, and then I'm gonna use my favorite blush. Uh, it's by IBY and it's Peachy Sheen. So pretty. I'm just gonna use my NYC, it's Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. Um, they used to say that this was a dupe for Hoola Bronzer. It's not, it's prettier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I just have Pillow Plump on. I put that right before I started the tutorial. And so we're gonna take this off. Okay, we're gonna use the ColourPop Lippy. And this is the Powder Puff Lippy and it is a lip cream and it's in squad goals. So let's get this on. This definitely feels strange with this little puff guy. All right, you guys, so this is the final look using the uh, Makeup Palette by Jaclyn Hill, Armed and Gorgeous. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. Um, the shadows are okay. Um, they're not my favorite to work with. I mean, I, I think I came up with a pretty nice look. Um, so I, oh my gosh, I forgot to use the Morphe setting spray. Let's use that. Okay, I do have to say that is a nice continuous spray. So, um, yeah, it smells very fresh. It's a little bit fragrant, um, but it, it feels wet. So, yeah, so that that's okay. This, honestly, I do not like it. Um, the Angel Veil, I... I like. I think they're right. This is a dupe for the Hourglass. Eesh. Um, I don't know, guys. Let me know if you've tried her palettes. Um, let me know what you think. I just don't think that they're they're blending like her first Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, so I don't know, guys. But. Uh, yeah, I really like this NYX lippy. It's really pretty. Um, I think it goes really well with this look. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.